Welcome. So today we are going to talk about the descriptive programming. So what is descriptive programming? How you do it? And then uh, what are the scenarios where you can go with descriptive programming? So the other things uh, we are going to look at uh, in today's presentation. Alright, so the descriptive programming is mainly you are going to use the property value paired when you do the programming. So here you are trying to get rid of the object repository file because you don't want to use the objects that are stored in the object repository file. Instead, you are going to use the object property and value pair. So in order to know the property object value pair, you are going to spy an object that way what are all the objects, the properties that get exposed and you are going to use them in the scripts. So objects by is used to get the properties and the values in order to identify that object uniquely in the applications. So there are different ways how you can do it. So static programming, that's where you are going to use pretty much the property value pair in the script. Or you can also create a descriptor, description object, that's where you are going to get all these objects dynamically because description object is going to store the properties of an object and then you can get those uh, get those property value pair from the description object. So in this presentation we are going to talk about how you do the static programming with the property value pair and in the future videos I am going to talk about the dynamic programming by creating the description objects. Alright, so now let's look at how you use the subject spy and then how to get the properties and then how you do the scripting with the property value pair. Say so this is the application. And now you are going to do the scripting part to handle this login window. So first you are going to spy this object using the object spy. So go to tools and select object spy. And now we are going to click on this hand icon and spy this object. Say, okay, uh, let's go and spy. Okay, just give me one sec. I am going to minimize this QTP because my application is hiding behind this uh, pre PPT presentation. Alright, so now let's uh, do it one more time. So this is the, okay, let me move this dialog. Alright. So this is the object I want to spy and uh, say the login window. You see now it's going to give you the properties of the login window. Like so these are the different properties and value pairs. Similarly, you can spy the other objects also. So if you spy say log agent name, this is the text box, right? So if you spy, then it's going to give you the agent name, edit box, the property value pair. So this way you can spy it, what are the object and properties you want to know. And then you can capture those properties that are unique to identify that object. So you browse through these objects and see which object that holds that the name of the object. In most of the time the name of the object is very unique property and then you are going to use that when you do the scripting through descriptive programming. So let's capture this property. Copy and uh, I'm going to paste it here. And then when you do the descriptive programming you are going to use colon equal to and then now you are going to say the agent name that is the value. So this is the name value pair separated by the colon and equal to and you are going to put them within double quotes. Similarly you want to get the dialog that is login right. So you are going to look at what is that unique to this particular object. So 
So you can use any of these properties, the text property that holds the login title. So you can use the text and then colon equal to the property. The value is login. So this way just you can use this property value pair to identify the login dialog. And now let's start spy the password. Uh oh, just I need to minimize this notepad because the application is hiding behind that. Alrighty. So now we're going to spy the password. And then what is that uh, object for this password? The property again it is a text text but the value is different that is the password. And now you got uh, for all these three objects for the login dialog and also for the agent name and the password you got all those property value pairs. Now you are good to go with the descriptive programming. Okay, so these are the property value pair. Now how you can do the programming part. Just give me one sec. I think I click on this help button. That's where it's trying to open that help. Okay, so let's close this help. I don't we don't need any help. Okay, so let's close this object spike. And now you can do the scripting part. You're going to say dialog, and then so you're going to use this object value pairs here. So this is uh, the dialog object, right? So you can use those property value pair here, and then close bracket dot. You're going to say win edit because that's the windows edit box and this should be the agent name and then so now once you got this then you're going to set some agent name so that should be say something like test one two three and the next one you want to do the password all you have to do is just copy this statement you need not write the whole thing again and again and then all you have to do is simply change the property value pair here just only the changes the value is different right so that should be the password And then next one is you are going to hit the login button. Oh, we forgot to capture that one. So let's uh, spy that. We forgot to get the login button. Alrighty, so let's uh, do the just spy to know the property value fair to identify the login button. So, OK button. OK, so this is the OK button. And we are going to locate uh, which button is okay now it's basically the text so you can use the text okay and then close this object spy and that's a property value pair and uh, the text is called okay okay so now you are going to do the scripting part even for the login. So all you have to do is just copy this piece of line here. 
Uh, and this time we are going to use instead of win edit, it should be win button. And then the button name is the text OK. So this is the property value pair. Alright, so now you are going to go just here you're going to say say dot click because you want to click on that button okay so that's it so now uh, let's um, even you can open this is open the application using your record and run settings <laughs> Okay, and okay, now you can run the script. Alright, so let's run and then see how this, because in this case, you don't have any object repository files, and you don't have any objects that are stored in the object repository. All it comes from the scripting. maybe the password we forgot to change so it's going to give you an error message because the password should be Mercury for this application but anyway let's see whether it sets that agent name yeah it did and now it's trying to set the password and anyway it's going to give you error out saying that the password is not correct okay but anyway that's how the, the script is going to work so here you're doing some invalid login testing to make sure when you enter the wrong password whether you're getting this message or not okay so anyway that's uh, that's how actually like you can do the descriptive programming so the main advantage is with this descriptive programming is uh, you can easily port your scripts across different versions say for example you have the QTP 11 version and now you got 11.5 or something so you can easily port because there are no object repository files there are no migrations no associations nothing everything is part of your script and then here no maintenance of object repositories and also no issues with object repositories and you can directly do the scripting and basically where the recovery is where sorry where this descriptive programming is useful is uh, where you have this dynamic objects or something like the application is not ready but the development team says like you have uh, the properties and the values of the objects are there then you can use those objects properties to do your scripting and also sometimes uh, the development team says um, there are similar objects on the page then you can handle through descriptive program say for example you have a save button on the page on the top and the bottom you want to click on a specific save button either either the save button on the top or the bottom then you're going to use the descriptive programming in that case you end up with using using more than one property so basically if you want to use the more than one property to uniquely identify because the name is same in that case like you can use probably the index say zero because the index is again different for those objects though the name is same so you are going to use such kind of properties separated by comma the ultimate aim is to here to uniquely identify that object using multiple properties so that is where actually the descriptive programming is uh, useful and we are going to talk about this dynamic programming using the description object probably in my future videos thank you thanks for watching this video talk to you soon have a good day bye